Ever since I was little, I kind of knew that I wasn't the ideal skin tone for the world. I'm African American, and I'm not just, you know, your typical African American. I am extremely dark, and it's always somewhat been a problem. I've gotten bullied about being dark by people at my school, family members, people in stores. And don't get me started on when I go to nail salons and they tell me that the nail color doesn't necessarily go with my skin tone and that I should pick a darker shade. All my life, people have called me nighttime, asphalt. They'd call me ultra black and it honestly hurt me because I honestly thought that I would never be good enough just because of my skin tone. I remember seeing a can of paint in my aunt's room and it just so happened to be white paint. And that kind of struck the idea that when I'm older, I'll just paint myself white and put on a blonde wig and nobody will know. When I was in the seventh grade, I ended up thinking that I was never going to find a boyfriend just because of my skin tone and that I necessarily wasn't good enough for anybody because of my skin tone. And it's pretty sad that I have to think that because ever since I was little, I would look on TV and I would never see people of my color. I'm 14 years old and it took me, I'd say, 13 years to come to terms with my skin color and to appreciate my skin color. And for anybody out there who is fighting this, just like me, no matter what, you are a beautiful human being. Pimples, skin tone, weight, that doesn't define you. Beauty is beyond the surface. Oh my god, and we totally jumped off the cliff and had to zoom all the way to shore because the dog chased us all the way to the end. Oh.